this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And welcome back to my channel. I am beyond excited for today's reading, you guys, because we're going to be talking about this big shift energy that's around us right now. Um, it has something to do with the super moon, which is a full moon, a big super moon we're going to have in a couple days, biggest moon of 2022. Um, and you guys all know, I've been talking a lot on the channel about how we just went through Mercury retrograde and we just got through eclipse season. Thank goodness it's over, right? But now we have Saturn retrograde. Before you freak out thinking, oh no, another planet's retrograde. Saturn being retrograde is a good thing. Um, when Saturn is direct, it tends to wreak a lot of havoc in your life. And it forces you to go through karma and like tough lessons and like you're doing the work and you're planting the seeds, like hustle grind energy, very emotional uh, things happening in your physical world. But when Saturn goes retrograde, that energy is actually kind of lessened. And what you end up getting is you reap the rewards for all the work that you did. It's good karma coming back to you. It's basically like you reap what you sow. And so what I'm trying to say is that this new moon in Gemini we just had, Saturn retrograde and the super moon is all creating this like basically, I don't know, kind of cosmic vortex of awesomeness. <laughs> and, you know, I've been hearing from a couple of my friends and some clients and even witnessing in my own life that things that I have been wanting forever are finally manifesting plans and projects that people have been trying to do forever are finally coming together. Good news is coming. Wild, rapid, exponential manifestations are coming through. It's incredible. And I really was not trying to clickbait you with this title because, you know, everyone's like, big shift, big shift, click on this video. If I ever write big shift on a video, you got to know there's a big shift. <laughs> So I'm going to get into this reading, but I'm just really excited and I think it's possible that some of you guys could feel like your whole world is falling apart or like nothing, like things aren't going your way. I had multiple people, like many people hit me up over the last couple days saying that they got laid off of their job, um, breakups, um, financial things falling apart. Um, I'm, those are the common things I've been hearing from people right as this shift started taking place. Um, and I always take note of that. So, you know, but, but I'm noticing that these things are starting to work out really well for people, that there's like a hidden blessing or there's like a hidden opportunity. And so if you are freaking out right now and you clicked on this video and you're like, what's going on in the energy? Why is this happening? Please just know that there is a silver lining here. And for those of you guys who are in that beautiful rapid fire manifestation energy, I'm so happy for you. You deserve it. Everyone deserves it. You're so blessed. Maybe this reading will help open up to you what you have to look forward to. And my people who are looking for a silver lining, I want to help you with that too. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose a deck. Today, I'm just going to freestyle pull cards. Take a second and relax with me. Ground your energy. Just kind of come to peace. Hold in mind your question or your situation. Whatever you'd really like to hear. Whatever confirmation you'd like to get from this reading. And then I want you to focus your energy on a deck. You're going to choose number one. This is my Wildwood deck. Number two, the Ethereal Visions deck. Or number three, the Promises of Expression deck. This is one I made myself. It's really important on this reading that you only choose one because it's going to be a very specific message. But I guess if you have to choose more than one, you can. I know I've always got my little rebels who do that. <laughs> and I appreciate the rebels because I'm an Aquarius. I'm a rebel too. But I would just suggest you pick one, okay? Once you've chosen, head down below to the comments or to the description where the timestamps are posted and you can just click on your timestamp and instantly be fast forwarded to your part in the reading. And I'll see you for your reading soon.
For those of you guys who choose number one, the Wildwood deck, we're going to pull like, what is this big shift? Like, what's the super moon bringing in for you? We're just going to freestyle pull some cards. Maybe you chose the Wildwood deck because you just felt drawn to it. Maybe you're familiar with it, or maybe you just, you watched my channel enough to know that I tend to be a little bit more on point when I use this deck. <laughs> it's my favorite deck. Oh, wow. So you're feeling really insecure about two things right now in your life. The first thing you're feeling a little bit insecure about is your love situation. It could be that there's like a specific person that you're attracted to. Maybe you think they're your soulmate or your twin flame or this or that, but maybe they're just not coming through. It's not working out. Um, or maybe on the flip side, like you're just single and you're feeling a little lonely. Um, it could also be that something crazy just went down in this area of your life, you know, maybe a breakup, you know. So this is one little fire over here that's burning that needs to be put out. The other thing you're feeling insecure about is your home situation or your living situation. And I'm having a lot of things just kind of flash up before me right now. Like the first thing that's coming up is like roommate issues, like narcissistic roommates, fights, um, people that are pay not paying the bills or they left you with, with uh, a mess to clean up or you have to find a new person to fill the place or you're trying to secure your home in time um, or you need to move or you're trying to make rent or you're trying to get the down payment for the house or you're trying to close an escrow or whatever. Like there's something going on or maybe you just want to change the living situation. Maybe it's not a very healthy one or you want to get out of your parents' house or something. So it seems like these are the two areas of your life that are just really um, being highlighted right now. And maybe as part of this shift energy and all the planets and everything like what's going on, maybe it caused these two things to fall apart or to get triggered or something. So it's hard because you're just like, oh my gosh, I have to deal with both of these things right now. Which one do I do first? What do I do? How do I get out of this? Um, it feels almost like the universe has pulled back its generosity. It just feels like crickets. It just feels silent. You feel like, where is God? <laughs> or where is the universe when I need it? Or what? A, why won't my manifestations come through or why is this happening to me and so I always say in order to become a survivor or a thriver you must first allow yourself to become a victim so feeling that victim energy of why has this happened to me everything's falling apart why can't I ever find someone I love or why is nothing going right why is my life always like this why is my life such a difficult path like all of that if you're thinking that it's okay and let yourself feel it for a little bit, write about it, cry about it, complain about it. But please don't stay there too long. Because your guides are saying that the energy is shifting. That um, just like the bird in this picture, how the snow is thawing and finally the bird can get its footing. And it's probably thinking like, where am I going to build my nest? Like, it's the perfect season. I'm so ready. Like, let's do this, you know? So glad I made it through that harsh winter. That's so you. Like, the winter season in your life is ending. It's natural. The only thing that is assured in this life is that if you wait long enough, things will change. And that's what's happened. Change is coming. The change of the cycles and the seasons. The wheel of the year is turning. The Wildwood deck talks a lot about the wheel of the year. So that's totally, it's not surprising we're getting messages about like honoring the natural cycles and seasons in your life and letting the things that need to die and perish die. You know, can't avoid death in this life. Your guides are really just, honestly, this message is very much just like a keep on keeping on message. Your guides really want you to stay dedicated on your path. But the, what they want you to stay dedicated to is your freedom. Because it could be, po it's possible that maybe you made some choices in your home situation or your living situation or even in your love life. Sometimes we make choices out of fear. Sometimes we feel like we don't deserve more. We're not capable of more. We don't know how or it's like scary to go do that or make that change. And so we resist it. But it seems like your heart is really desiring freedom right now. And so that might be why it's best for you to be out of this relationship or to just be free to express yourself however you want in your love life. To go out in the world, to leave the home, to go get the new place or um, to explore something. And so it seems like 
Everything's being taken from you right now, at least in these areas, to free you up so you can have fun and so you can have new experiences and so you can really taste life. So everything really is working towards you. I just keep getting this message. I say this a lot on the channel, but I'm getting this for you today that nothing's being taken from you. Everything is being given to you. And look, I didn't even mean to, but I accidentally just picked up this deck like out of habit. And I know I was just supposed to use my wild the deck, but here we are, cards are coming out and they're saying, you belong together. This could be confirmation of a relationship that's in your heart right now. Maybe this is to help with the insecurity you're feeling in this connection or in this relationship. This could even be a really sweet message not to worry about your love life because there is someone you belong with and like this person, when they show up, they will be consistent and that's how you'll recognize them, you know? And look, they're saying this is what you're manifesting. So, whoa, that's so cool. Messages about, whoops, sorry. Messages about your love life working out, you meeting someone or the relationship working out. And then this is a message about your home situation. This is this represents stability. This card represents stability. So they're saying stability is going to come into your home or your home life will become stable. So to be honest, I kind of feel like stopping the reading there. I think what we did is we kind of saw what some of your fears were. We saw what you just went through. But your guides are just trying to tell you that you're going to get what you want. The relationship's going to work out. That was such a clear message. And then you're going to get stability with the home. You just need to be dedicated and see this through. Just like how this bird is probably feeling so overwhelmed that they have to start from nothing and go collect twig by twig to build a nest. And like the snow has just barely started to thaw. But they know they need to get to work because they're like, if I plant this seed now, I'll be able to lay my egg and hatch it at this time. You know, you might have been given this message that like, it's time, it's time for you to plant the seed or time to start building the nest or whatever. You could take whatever metaphor you want out of this, but it's basically time to get cracking and to not hold back because the seeds you plant now, they're going to harvest in the perfect time for you. And, you know, maybe it's not the universe that's been withholding its generosity from you. It might be you've been withholding your generosity from the world. Go out and start giving, go out and start living and you'll see what will come back to you. Go out and put some energy into the world. This is the horse. It's freedom, fun, travel, adventure. You know, embrace that energy as you move forward and it's all going to come back to you. So, looks like everything's working out. <laughs> I hope that's the message that you needed to hear. I love to believe that people choose the right card for them. And I love to hear about it. So, let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you. And I will see you next time. Peace out. For those of you guys who choose number two, we're going to see what's up with this big shift energy right now and the super moon, what's coming through for you, what do you need to know, what blessings are here. Yeah, we're just going to get into it. So let's do it. Let's pull these cards. What do you need to know? Oh, wow. I feel like for like a little while, you've been in this energy of like having to be really logical and having to uh, having, I don't know, sometimes you go through these hustle and kind of grind periods in your life. It kind of reminds me of somebody who like planted a garden and they have to weed it and they have to like, you know, till the soil and they have to like fertilize it and they have to like oh now there's freaking birds pecking at the fruit and we gotta let you know like it's just that tireless out every day sweating back breaking work and so I feel like that's what you've been doing metaphorically in your life and you know it has been a gr hustle and a grind period like so there's a side of you right now and it might also be because like summer is coming that just really wants to free yourself from that. And this is the Queen of Cups. This is somebody who's like really ethereal and like 
creative and poetic and like musical and this person just kind of spreads this beautiful harmonious energy wherever they go like you know they are decorating you know putting flowers everywhere embellishing everything that can possibly be embellished like just living a really aesthetic life um beautiful energy and I love the queen of cups and so it's like you are just like this is not it and I feel like the um the eclipses the mercury retrograde all these things these energy things that happened made you realize that in some ways in your life lately you've been like living a lie you got really detached from a certain side of yourself and here what this work that you did needed to be done there was no avoiding it it's not like you've made the wrong choice. It's not like you're on the wrong path. I think this is a message about how the super moon is going to bless you in a way that's going to help everything come to balance. Like you're finally going to see the fruits of your labor. Because this is the queen of wands. You might be working towards launching yourself. Like, and I don't know, I just get that word launching, like launching your business. Because the queen of wands is like the entrepreneur. She's like the businesswoman or person. Shout out to my my he's, shout out to my they's. Um, but, you know, it's a person who is strong entrepreneur energy and they are, I don't know, they dress really well, they speak really eloquently, they are confident, they have a beautiful home life and, you know, they're just out in the world. They, they've set everything up in their life in a way to where they can be very fulfilled. And it's somebody who's matured to a certain extent and like, they're just, they've manifested a lot. And I feel like you're ready to step into that energy. You're ready to own that. Cause this is a message of like, life is what happens all the moments in between. Don't get so locked into the hustle and the grind that you forget to enjoy your life. Like life isn't just for the weekends and the vacations and the summers, you know? And you keep thinking once I get her here, once I become this person and once I'm finally in that energy of being the entrepreneur, having the business, having the success, having the money, having the house, having the relationship, you know, having this lifestyle and this network, then I can like live my full life. Then I, then I can like be poetic and dreamy and then I can bring my true self. Then I can let this side of myself out. But I think when you cut this side of yourself out, like you end up so heartbroken and, and it's almost like you can't be her. You can't be this person unless you let this side of yourself out. So to reiterate, all hustle, all grinding, you know, that intense energy, go, 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 that leads to you dissociating and disconnecting from your body and disconnecting from yourself. And this, the Queen of Cups is very aware of her body. She's very sensual, you know, she's having lots of sex. <laughs> she's doing yoga, or exercise. She's just like, you know, really taking care of every little detail of her body. She's just, you know, self-care queen, basically. And so I think this is the message about you spending this summer basically being the self-care self -care queen or king or person. And um, I do feel that the biggest blessing that's going to happen is that this burden is going to be released because... It, when you take away this and this from these cards, you see a different story. It's like you're taking action, you're hustling, but you're also balancing this side of you that wants to write poetry, that wants to, uh, you know, embellish little things, that wants to take really good care of yourself that wants to live that life of luxury. It's almost like bringing it to yourself now. And I know that word luxury does not may, might not necessarily mean like stereotypical luxury lifestyle. It just might mean like what's luxury to you, you know? Sometimes luxury is just having lots of time in nature or being around your, your friends and family, you know? So that's what's about to happen to you. This burden is about to get released and removed. 
Um, I'm also getting a message about money coming in. So the big blessings and big shift you're about to get is money. And maybe this has already started happening. You might be like, oh my God, where's all this money coming from? Like, whoa. And you're almost in disbelief. So yeah, I see a big paycheck, a big bonus, lots of money, unexpected, unexpected sources um, coming and coming and coming and coming in. And you know, it's funny, sometimes they say more money, more problems. It doesn't matter how much money you have, it's it's the energy with how you approach it and how you approach your life. And I think you keep thinking, if I just get all the money, then I can relax. But maybe you've gotten more and more and you keep realizing it's you. you you're in this habit, you're in this lifestyle, and it's too grindy. It's too grindy. So you have to take charge and you have to find pockets and windows and you have to start setting boundaries and this is going to be your self-care summer. Everything's going to be easy, effortless, relaxed, carefree. The burdens are going to be released. More money is going to be coming in and all of a sudden you're just left with money and you're left with you becoming that entrepreneur or like coming out in the world and like having this, you know, a lot of stuff established for you and you know, being involved in your community or having lots of friends, like good energies, you know, and, uh, and then we see you, you know, always making space and time for this side of yourself that's romantic and dreamy because you are somebody who's actually very introverted at heart, but you've chosen a path that that's causing you to have to be really extroverted. This is like an aspect of your career or your job, um, or maybe just some of your lifestyle, um, so it's always about balance because you go, 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 go. You almost have to just like buckle down and force yourself into this because it's not as natural. But I think your guides are saying you need to, you know, go with what's natural to you. Embrace this energy, the Queen of Cups energy. Um, yeah. Let's pull any other, anything else you need to know about this big shift energy. Anything else you need to know. Anything else you need to know. Yeah. They're saying you are so close to the finish line. Like you're just about to get what you want. There's about to be a huge celebration and that this is all going to be over. I mean, you're always going to have to have to work to get what you want in life. But something tells me that this is a very big goal that you've been working towards. And like I said in the intro, right now there's a special energy going around where like the, the, the one thing you've been working towards, the one goal, big goal you've had forever, like it's finally happening right now. And so, like, it's so big. And I bet you anything, you know what this is in your heart. It's probably different for everyone who's looking at this right now. But you know it's coming. You know it's coming. So claim it. Celebrate it. Oh, I'm so excited for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Peace out. For those of you guys who choose number three, let's see what is going on with this big shift, super moon energy, all of these changes that are happening right now, all of these manifestations that are coming in. What do you need to know? Okay, so... I see I see that there's an opportunity that's opening up for you to literally go somewhere. Now, this could be a work opportunity. It could be a travel opportunity. It could be short term. It could be long term. It could be something you have planned forever. It could be impulsive. I don't know. There's a lot of people who are watching this right now. But I will say that this is something that you've been wanting to do for a while and it's like the door is finally opening now. It's like approachable. And you're actually seeing this door open and you're like, oh my God, you know. Um, I'm getting this message that like you just really want to get more connected with your intuition. You want to get more connected with the essence of life. And it's like you picture yourself like out in nature or on a beach somewhere or maybe traveling or maybe living in a certain place or working in a certain environment that's going to connect you with that. This could even be like, you know, purchasing property in nature. It could be, um, yeah, building a home or purchasing a home that's closer to nature or something like that. 
And so your guides are saying that this is so important for you right now, like to connect with nature. And they're telling you to go, just do it, go for it. You know, you're going to get the funding, um, you know, book the ticket or, you know, just drive to the mountains. It's like that kind of energy. And so I think this is, I think this could be like a travel manifestation and I'm biased because you guys, if you follow me for a while, you know, I'm a world traveler, but I'm seeing, there's been a lot of messages coming up for travel for people because of the, that's the season we're in summer, but I don't know. Like I'm really feeling like this is, I'm talking to a group of people here who really have had their eyes set on like, you know, climbing the mountain or wanting to visit the island or wanting to backpack through blah, 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 or like it's like you've had that dream and you want to connect with nature. You want to connect with yourself. And I, I really believe that every place that you go and you visit and travel, like you're learning different things about yourself. Like you're, you're getting information, you know, every place that you go has a different medicine. And I feel like there's a medicine of like a specific place that's calling to you. And so for some of you guys, this is just a, a vacation. And even though you have other responsibilities and everything, your guides are like this big shift and this super moon is going to help you manifest it. The opportunity's coming. It's like really exciting news. It's going to work out. Um, yeah, I love it. I love to hear that. That's the first thing I'm picking up on. Is there anything else you need to know? Fortune. Like I said, I see money coming for travel or money coming so you can go to nature. Money coming so that you can purchase that home or build, buy the property in nature or get closer to nature. Yeah, and this has been a dream of yours. Maybe you're like, I want to have a house in nature and rescue animals or I'd love to you know, live by the beach or oh, I've always wanted to travel to, you know, so-and-so like that's literally what's manifesting right now is that dream. It's, it's manifesting right now. It's meant to be. I, I believe there's a reason that you desire and you want the things that you want. You know, when you really want something and you've wanted it for a long time, there's a reason. I think it's because it's meant to be. I think it's, who knows, some aspect of yourself from the future reaching back to you, synchronicity, I don't know, like, uh, what's that one movie, Interstellar, like Interstellar, <laughs> maybe like that, I don't know, it's a hunch, an impression, you gotta follow it, that's your intuition, timing, they're just like, it's time, the timing is working out perfectly, perfectly, with this super moon thing, everything's aligning just like, perfect, so if things are falling apart in any way in your life right now, it's probably to help untether you from your situation so that you're free to go travel or so that you're free to go to this place or you're free to buy this property or get to nature or do this move or have this experience that you want to have. And that's what I feel like you're manifesting right now is money to help you have an ex some type of experience you want to have. Dazzling. Really, that's all I'm getting. It's just like you're sparkling, you know, you're magnetic you know, everything's manifesting. Uh, you're going to get out there in the world and just dazzle everybody. What more could I say? Yeah, they're saying follow the idea you have in your head. Maybe this reading just kind of jogged something, made you think of something, this plan, this idea, the nature. What does this make you think of? Because your guides are saying that's it for you. That's the plan. That has potential. Follow it. So yeah, this was really specific. You have to let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. I'm so happy for this big shift energy. Claim it. And I will see you next time. Peace out.